Good everyone, I hope you guys are having an amazing day. So if you remember in the last episode I talked about care coordination, I briefly discussed what care coordination is about, then I've also demonstrated how to convert a lead to patient. That's pretty cool, right? Now, um, I just wanted to show you a few things, right? Um, say for instance, um, if you try to look for a care uh, or coordination app in your health cloud, you won't find it because uh, you know what happens is that there are, there is a setting which needs to be uh, turned on. That's the care plan. That option needs to be turned on. So if you don't, then you will not be able to find that option. So uh, what I'll show you. Um, so say so for instance, right? Uh, so you run a care agency, right? So obviously your patient, you know, you admit a patient, and then you you wanted to make sure that you know your center takes care of the patients so what that means is that uh, you are responsible for the coordination between say specialist and the patient and and who are involved right uh, sometimes what happens is that you might have to uh, include uh, a doctor or a specialist uh, who may not be part of your center but might be working in a say a different different place so uh, you need to, so if you're building a care plan for a patient, right? So, and let's say, and if you decide that let's say X, Y, Z person uh, is a cardiologist who needs to look after, uh, say, Mr. Smith, and then uh, you might have to add that person to, uh, to the care, uh, to the list of care member who will be uh, looking after Mr. Smith. Right, um, so I'm gonna show you uh, how to do that. That's that's pretty much what we're going to focus. Um, I just wanted to take it slow because I don't want it to rush. Because why to rush, right? I just want you guys to understand why we need to do it and you know and how we do it, right? Okay, so like I said, um, I'm gonna show you like like you can you can see the care coordination right app, but you might try in your org and you will say, mm, I can't see it. The reason why I can't see it because you need to enable it. So you go to the setup here, yeah? And care plan settings, you go to care plan settings, right? And under care plan settings, you just need to activate it. If you don't, you won't see that option, okay? So once you do that, um, you can look here uh, for top care, you see the care coordination app. So this app will give you the right uh, interface to do the stuff you want to do, right? Okay, let's take an example of uh, one of the um, patient, right? Charles Green, which is a very common patient you will see. Uh, like, you know, you might have heard about John Doerr, right? Uh, so similarly in HealthCloud, Charles Green is very popular. So Mr. Green, uh, patient record, let's have a look. So Mr. Green, um, you know, want to is from the United States as right um, he we wanted to look at the care plan for mr. green okay so this is a, a nice looking interface um, not really nice but yeah you can see all the medication and immunization so the nice in the sense you will see all information in one place from that perspective not from a, a UI design perspective but just from a usability perspective you can see all the stuff here right okay so um, I wanted to look for the care plan for this uh, specific uh, patient so how do I do that it's pretty simple so here you got something called or care plan and you see this person got two care plan in place diabetes care plan and post discharge care plan okay so what I want to do I want to uh, expand this here right and you can see the task, care team, and the goals. We're not going to talk about the task and goal today. I will park that aside for tomorrow. Okay. So the care team is what we are after. So care team is the people who are actually involved in looking after uh, Mr. Green, right? So for as you can see that um, you have external. I don't know why we have external patient, but uh, we have coordinator, diabetes educator, cardiologist. Uh, family related PCP. Um, let's say I wanted to add a nurse, right, as a part of the care team. Okay, so how do you do that? 
So that's exactly what we're going to look at today. So it's very simple. Um, you will add, go here, yeah, and there's something called add care team, remember? And uh, I'll just put something called D, uh, D A. Uh, I don't know the name of it, just just for that. Okay, so what I want, I want uh, Melinda Smith, right? Uh, to be, uh, she's let's let's assume that she is a. Uh, so I want Melinda Smith uh, to be uh, Mr. Green uh, Nurse, right? I don't know what UM Nurse means, but just for the sake of argument, okay. I add it. Okay, so Melinda Gear. Uh, Smith has been added, which is, uh, which who is a nurse, right? Which is, uh, pretty cool. So, um, yeah. So we the role will be assigned as the care coordinator. But if you think that that's a mistake, you can, um, think. It's interesting. To be honest, I. Oh no, sorry, that's fine. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll just remove the member again. Okay, so where does it? Yeah, okay, right, so Melinda. Okay, and okay, so here you can change it. Let's say, um, hmm, I can't buy any useful one, but. <laughs> Okay, family related, right? Let's say she's a family nurse, right? Okay, just add it. So, yeah. okay, so that's added. Um, that's that's how you add it. Okay, now let's say I wanted to add um, another uh, user who is not a part of uh, another member who is not a part of this uh, organization but works somewhere else. Uh, could be like I said could be or like here in this case you are cardiologist. Let's say um, someone You know, maybe uh, Another doctor right from a different clinic. So you go here add get team member say uh, I don't know if it's there, but we'll find out Okay, care coordinator David Lee I just create an external member I said David John the uh, test David add is that David Lee Center dot com. Ah, I just made up something, right? And uh, phone number. I don't know how United States phone number works. I <laughs> I don't live in the U.S. So um, so maybe plus one something. Yeah. Don't know. Member created. Oh, that's fantastic, right? David. See, David John Lee, right? Okay, so that's how you add it. How simple is it, right? It's really simple uh, to add a care team, and yet it's a very powerful feature. You might think, hmm, why do I care? Well, from a uh, from a medical perspective, this information is very important, right? Because it's will ensure that a patient is looked after well, right? For instance, right, I'll tell you a very simple example. In New Zealand, right, um, you know, our healthcare service is kind of free. Free, I will put in the codes, right? The reason why I'm putting in the codes, um, GP service is not really free for adults, for kids under certain age. They keep on changing, but, but for certain age, it's free, right? Uh, and dentist is free, I think, till 18. Uh, it's free right after that you might have to go to overseas to get your dental done it's way freaking expensive in New Zealand so um, so if you go to hospital right for instance let's say you go to uh, your GP right and then you um, go to a specialist because of whatever reason GP recommend you and then if you go to specialist right um, imagine that you know uh, you don't have uh, the specialists don't have uh, much information about you or you know 
much information about your previous history, then that's not really great, right? Uh, I think that's not a great example. Okay, forget about it. So uh, let me give you a different one. So let's say you have some illness, right? Whatever illness it is, X, Y, Z. You go to GP, GP recommended to specialist, and then you go to your care provider. Now, the care provider needs to have information about the people who's looking after you, right? And the people who uh, they think will be beneficial for you. Uh, so an option like this, right, will be really handy, right? At one place, you know, administrator can go and add information on board the customer, sorry, on board the patient and include the caretakers and yeah, everything at one place and then set the task and go. Like I said, I'll, I'll discuss task and go in next episode. So yeah, that's pretty much I wanted to discuss in today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we got a, long, a lot of stuff to cover, uh, but like I said, yeah, it's an interesting um, journey. So that being said, hope you guys have an amazing Tuesday. Adios.